I'm Jason Barr, Lashana Tova to those who celebrate. Welcome everybody to Football Friday Night. We've got new fields, rivalry matchups, undefeated teams, and a memorial game. We start on the, no on the northwest side for a rivalry game with a new field. It is Marana at Mountain View. This is actually a Tigers home game, but their new turf isn't just ready so as of yet. It was our game of the week and well, who did you think was going to win? As I peek there, it looks like most of you thought Morano was going to win 63%. Let's see how things played out. All right, so the idea tonight was to have kind of like a bowl-like atmosphere for the Morano community, and it was just that. There is the boot right there coming out, the battle of the boot. Uh, new field, new turf. Uh, we pick it up, scores to the first quarter. Quarterback Justin Holgan, a Mountain View already with one big run. Here he scoots around for the touchdown to make a 7 0 Mountain Lions. The stands, both sides packed with overflow crowds. Second quarter now, Miranda answers. Jason Wood to Jalen Collins. He's in space, but Mountain View goes on to win 42 35. They have dominated this series, and now they reclaim the bronzed boot. Also debuting its new turf field, Sunnyside. The Blue Devils hosting Micah Mountain. Their field was supposed to be ready last year, so this is long awaited. The Thunderbolts are good. Micah Mountain QB, Jaden Thorson. The play fake to Jimmy Leone for the touchdown. Just like that, Micah up 6-0. To the second quarter now. Micah's Case and Colbert takes the handoff and goes 35 yards to the end zone. Micah Mountain wins 35-7. They are 4-0 on the season. It was a special night at Saguaro High School. Aaron Patterson was on the east side tonight where the Cougars were hosting Choya. Jason, it's the 45th annual Rick Botkin Memorial Game. This game is believed to be the longest active high school memorial game in the country. After the passing of Rick Botkin from a car crash in 1977, Saguaro has honored him with this game. Family and friends gather because what better way to celebrate his life than football? Now moving into the highlights, on the first drive, Cougars Jalen Clark takes the handoff and he fumbles. The ball recovered by Choya's Juan Guerrero. On the turnover, the Cougars were able to stop the Chargers with two sacks on Guerrero to cause fourth down. The field goal is good for the Chargers, three to nothing Choya. But Sawara answers right back on the next drive. Brady Celentano takes the handoff for the touchdown. The Cougars leading seven to three at the end of the first quarter. Sawara went on to win the game 29 to 10. At Sawara High School, Aaron Patterson, Kagan nine. Next stop, Cochise County. Tombstone has scored at least 40 points in each of its first three games, all wins. Tonight, the Yellow Jackets hosting Benson. This is a 2A San Pedro matchup. First quarter after a Yellow Jackets touchdown to put them up 7-0. Quarterback DJ Elias fakes the handoff and takes off. That is wide open field in front of them. Tombstone rolling. They're up 14-0 after the TD. Can Benson answer? Bobcats quarterback Dalton Crockett rolls to his right. Finds Raleigh Evans. How about a 44-yard scoring strike for a Benson touchdown? But Tombstone wins 33-26. The school saying tonight it's the first time the Yellow Jackets have beaten Benson since back in 2005. How about another Cochise County school? Buena, 3-0 for the first time in 20 years. A lot of history going on. Tonight, the Colts uh, making the trip up from Sierra Vista to visit Tucson High School. Buena coming off a last-minute win last week over Catalina Foothills. First quarter, no score. Buena quarterback Latavius Walker back to pass. Right to the hands, though, of Tucson's Kevin Burns, who runs it back to the six-yard line. That is going to set up the Badgers in business. Two plays later, following the first and goal, Noah Chenez uh, runs it in for the touchdown. Tucson goes up 7-0, and the Badgers have something to sing about. All right, still first quarter. Buena with the ball. Andres Bonilla. Bonilla, a hole, and there he goes. 74 yards to pay dirt. Tucson led 7-6 after the missed extra point, but Buena wins 21-13. The Colts. Buena now 4-0 on the season. Let's keep it going now. 3-0 CDO at 2-0. I'm sorry, 2-1 Amphi. Uh, we got there in the third quarter. CDO leading uh, by three scores. Amphi player Freddie Luna injured and stayed on the turf. It's a back injury. Both teams uh, on their knees, hoping he's going to be okay. Uh, we're hearing tonight, though, from the Amphi athletic director, Ty Seffers, that uh, he does believe Luna's going to be okay. 
after the injury, they resume play, and uh, Caden Luke of CDO with a touchdown, and CDO wins big tonight, 41 to nothing. All right, that's it for high school football, and certainly uh, we got some college tomorrow. That's right. And, uh, U of A final tune-up uh, before Pac-12 play. Wildcats taking on UTEP yep. at home.